I'm in After Effects in a new project file, and I'm ready to import my character. I'll come over here to the Project panel and double-click to bring up the Import Prompt. As you can see, I have my work files here. I just want to go up to Chapter 2 and locate Red Thunder Separated. That's the file that we created in the previous video. And once you have it, you can click Open to bring it in. And of course, if you have your own character, feel free to bring that in as well to follow along. When importing, there's a couple of things we can do here. First, we can set the import kind. And right now we have composition retain layer sizes. And that's what we want. We want to bring in the layers at their original size. And then for layer options, let's just choose merge layer styles into footage. This tends to render faster and we have no need to edit layer styles for this particular course. So once you have those two options selected, we can click OK on the panel and we are now good to go. You can see what happens here is the layers from Photoshop are brought into After Effects and put inside of a folder. If you click on any of these, you'll see by the preview that we have access to all these layers. In addition to that, we also have a composition made up of all these layers already assembled for us just like it was in Photoshop. And if I were to double click on that composition to go inside, you can see that we have all of our layers situated and ready to go. And this is how you could go in and separate your layers inside of After Effects before applying the Puppet Pin tool as I described in the previous video. However, for this course, we won't be dealing with the individual layers. We're going to create another composition for the walk cycle and then start adding our pins. And that is what we'll be tackling in the next video.